here we go, here we go, here we go. Hi, folks. Um, so I don't know if anyone's actually in the room right now, but hey, I am still uploading my videos to YouTube, so that's cool. But it is the latest Magic the Gathering set, uh, Crimson Vow, which centers around a vampire wedding between Olivia Voldaren and, uh, up till recently, an unknown groom figure. I know who the groom fig figure is uh, for those who don't. Um, we will see if they pop up in a game instead of just me setting, uh, spoiling it for you. Um, but we're going to start with some sealed and then I'm going to hope to just kind of play throughout the day uh, in preparation for getting to do an actual live event later this weekend. So hopefully the audio balance is good. If anybody tunes in, they can let me know. Um, oh, interesting. Oh, I have a draft token, not a sealed token. Okay, so I actually need... I need just a few more gems in order to play sealed. And I don't want to buy those. So... <laughs> the, uh, the, the plan has changed... <laughs> to a draft! <laughs> so be it. Um... So let's see, do they have a premier draft? Yes. We'll use the token entry and go from there. So typically any set, here we go, any set on Innistrad, I'm excited. Um, but there is, there is one card in particular from the set that I am not so excited about. And if I get it, I'm gonna be really disappointed. Um, again, I'll hold off, but anyone who's been watching the spoilers probably knows what I'm talking about. Comes the target of a spell you control, draw a card. That's fine. Three, three, can't be blocked alone. That seems pretty good. Dahlia is great against certain strategies. It's also first strike. I'll probably end up going Thalia, but let's see what else we got in this pack. Adamant Will, gains 2-2 and gains Indestructible until end of turn. Drog Skull Infantry turns into Armaments. I mean, just a lot of white in this pack. The artwork on Gift of Fangs is pretty great. Sanguine Statuette. Whenever you sacrifice a blood token, you can make that a 3-3. Three, three. We'll grab Thalia, but Gutter Skulker is pretty sweet, too. Uh, Bloodsworn Squire turns into Bloodsworn Knight. Power and toughness are equal to the number of creature cards in your graveyard. Hmm. Honeymoon hearse. Oof. Five five with trample for three is not bad. Yes. A single razor blade? Yes. No. Just the razors I picked up recently. A uh, sharp. Yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thinks I'm inactive. <laughs> um, a sharp. No. No. Okay. Well, thanks for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> no, I, I have no idea, dear. I only have the the ex the, the razors that can be disposed of right now. Okay, I just need a single razor blade to cut my bread. Yes. I understand. I don't have those. Man, I would love to see Exploit come around for me, so we're going to grab this even though it's a bad idea. Mm 
People must think this is just hard to build around because they're not going for it. If this comes up, this card's going to be pretty... Well, it's an enchantment. Eh. I mean, that's that's a big spell. I don't... <sighs> Fine. We're going to grab it, but I don't know if it's going to work for us. I am, I'm kind of hoping to do well in this draft, but I'm also kind of hoping that I'm proven wrong on blood counters. I don't know if blood counters are going to be good. Uh, I guess we're just grabbing Alchemist Retrieval. Counter spell, ranks of blood token. I mean, we're gonna need something big in blue if we are gonna play this, so. Dreadfuge seems good too. Vampire Slayers are just going by the wayside. So we'll grab the monstrosity because we need something big. Two five flyer. Opponent exiles a card from their hand. Wedding invitation. Hmm. Two mana draw spell for an unblockable later. That seems pretty good actually. So this is best of ones, if I remember correctly, so this card is more sideboardy. Fear of death. Hmm. I mean, Hook Mariner is actually sweet if we end up going green, so... Tap down. Syncopate, I remember, really, I used to like that card a lot. And now I'm not so sure, at least not for this set. Just a mana rock. Greatest toughness among creatures you control. So potentially a 6-6 six, six that gains me 6 life. Yes, please. Other creatures you control. Dang it. <laughs> okay. Um, mill. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. We'll take Wolf Strike for the removal. Uh, chill the Grave. We like. But it becomes night. Uh, do we grab that just in case? No, we're grabbing Chill. And piercing lights removal, even if it's pretty small. Flourishing hunter sideboard we may not be two two. Headless rider, great, absolutely great. Like that, that seems good. Uh, 
Boy, I kind of like that. But Headless Rider is just so good. Um, okay, less than 20 minutes takes two drugs off. Brian Comer. It's a 1-1 one, one for three. But it gets you a body immediately. Hmm. I think it's cool. But that Headless Rider is too good to pass up. Plus that artwork is nuts. Howling Moon. Wow, that seems good. Um, Lunar Rejection. Hmm. That seems good too. What are we trying to do here? I mean, Howling Moon just seems solid. I don't know if I'm going to have enough wolves or werewolves to make it worthwhile, though. I got two so far. So we're grabbing probably the Radiant Grace. I think so, yeah. Because attaching that to an opponent early makes sense to me. See, this is the 1-1 one, one counter thing we would need for Sigarda Summons to work. Rot Tide Gargantuan. I'm all over the place in this draft. I am not I'm not focused. Um Crumb. Uh, I mean, y'all know me. I want to play this, but we're going to grab Dormant Grove and see if we can make this 1-1 one -one counters thing happen. Three or the reach is just a solid body. Toughness on Unhallowed Phalanx is so good. Rides Gown. Lantern Bearer seems really sweet. Moldograph gets the 1-1 one -one counters I need. Just grabbing it. Another Moldograph. 
Oh, that's right, training is how I'm supposed to be getting these 1-1 counters. Gross. Um, but now Brian Comer looks pretty good. I mean, not the greatest, but we're going to grab it because maybe we'll build around it. We'll see. Yes, I'm still here. Sorry, I'm just reading cards that I haven't studied. Um... Phalanx is so huge, though. I want it. <laughs> All right, Cradle of Safety. Old Rusting, what you buying? Everyone's made that joke, I know. Oh, but those treasure tokens. Boy, if you draft enough wretched throngs, that becomes all right. But we had to grab old Rustine because that card's hilarious. Um, all right, so let's kind of build around him now. Mill a card. Okay. I think those spiders seem kind of good. Um, <clears throat> I think it's that. Ambleworm, that's a big thing. I think we're grabbing Brambleworm, my goodness. I didn't even see that card spoiled before. How many is too many vile spawn spiders? Want that card, but I don't need it right this moment. I'm gonna take it anyways because I didn't decide in time. Cobbled Lancer. I didn't see this either. Zombie horse. Oh wow. Don't worry, everyone. I hear hoofbeats. The Gavany Riders are coming to save us. Oh no. I mean, a, a three-three for one, and I'm gonna be milling. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm. Three almond counters. Oh, I guess I took the swarm. Ah! Still reading? Sorry. All right, I think we want the Lantern Bearer again because if we're gonna be milling a lot, then we can get Lantern's Lift. I 
I mean, I don't. We don't need the wretched throng. We're not gonna play the wretched throng. But I got nothing else to grab. Again, more disturbed. So things in the graveyard are good for me. Honored heirloom. Perhaps. There's a lot of graveyard shenanigans. So that might be a good enough reason for me to grab that. There we go. Um, retrieval. Sanctify. Alright, we got some serious work to do to figure out what we're building here but i think it's it's based around now hear me out the vile spawn spiders and old rusting so vile spawn spiders at the beginning of your upkeep mill a card it's a two three body a green and a blue, which is just sweet as is. And it has reach. Um, pay two, a green and a blue. Sacrifice by Spawn Spider. Create a 1-1 one, one green insect creature token for each creature card in your graveyard. Activate only as a sorcery. The body is sweet. The ability might be great if I'm having trouble getting around my opponents. Um, to be determined. Alright. Millicard. Land is Melba's way, create a treasure token. I mean, this is going to get us to our big green spells if we miss lands. So that's sweet. Um, which means we know we want the Bramble Worm because that's kind of the big payoff we're hoping to get to. Um, we also want the Dread, Knight, uh, Dread Light Monstrosity because we're probably going to get a card in exile. Which means this is going to be a 5 of unblockable with Ward 2. Sweet. Exile a card from your graveyard. Very good chance, if I keep playing low to the ground like this, that I'm going to get something in there quickly. Uh, Lantern Bearers are great little run one drops to give my big things flying later. Disturb for three and gives my things plus one, plus one, and flying. Like, gah, awesome. Um, Alchemist Retrieval is about as good a thing as I have in blue removal right now. Hmm. And this helps me not melt out, <laughs> so I'm kind of, I'm kind of happy about that. Add two mana of any one color. Or enchant permanent. Like, that's just alright. So I didn't need the Molgraf Millipedes. Um... I didn't need them, but now that I'm going heavy mill strategy, this may actually prove to be a pretty decent card. I don't think... We're, we're not going to get the 1-1 payoffs to make Cigar to Summons working. That's just not going to happen. Um, what we can do is... Play the Cobbled Lancer, thinking, yeah, we're probably going to get um, one of our Alchemist Retrievals in the graveyard. Cradle of Safety, I like against targeted removal. How many spirits am I going to have? And it's just counter target spell. That seems like it could be impactful.
couple of four fours that turn into four sixes or six fours. Yeah. Yeah, I'm okay with that. That's a just nice fair body. Um, six six mole grab. Dormant Grove helps me outshine my opponents. Screaming Swarm helps me not mill out. Okay, we're looking a little heavy in certain areas. Let's change the artwork out. What do we got here right now? We've got 17 creatures. So I can drop some creatures. What am I what am I dropping here? Moldograph potentially gets me three cards milled. Depending on how many creatures are already in my graveyard. I, I, here's the thing. There's enough graveyard hate in this deck that I can see this going very poorly for me. And as a common, I'm going to just I'm gonna ditch it for now. Draw a card and give my creature a little boost. Yeah. Yeah, I might like that better. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Ah. Well then. Cobbled Lancer, you're not as good as I thought you were. Go away. I wish Binding Geist had flying. That would make that card so much better. But it does not. Uh, Chill of the Grave seems pretty good. I don't know. We're, we're toying around with this, right? We're only playing this because I wanted to get gems. So, a lot of early blue. Did give me six islands. That's fine. Ah, let's just toy around with this, shall we? I think I can hear Marissa's video in the background. One sec.
Oh, I'm st I was still muted on my mic, too. Ah! So all you could see was just the pain in my face as those games weren't going our way. As in, getting restarted. Catapult fodder. What? I didn't see this card spoiled either. Beginning of combat on your turn, if you control three or more creatures that each have toughness greater than their power, transform catapult fodder. Awesome. Awesome. Oh my goodness, I want to build around that now. Oh, that's so gross. I love it. <laughs> uh, do they have reach, though? No, they do not. Boop. Another spider. And Imperial, I see you back in the chat as well. Uh, going back to your question, we're playing Soltai Mill. Uh, seems to be our strategy today. They're just testing the waters. Uh, there's got to be a destroy target creature that was dealt damage this turn card. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, Gift of Fangs doubles his removal. Forgot about that. Two spiders in the graveyard. That's fine. We'll double up on blue. We are certainly not sacrificing that yet. There's only two in there. Exile up to one target card from a graveyard. They're going to exile one of mine. Yep. Okay. Oh, that was the black I needed. Bummer. But I'll be able to play Flourishing Hunter next turn. Just some nice, fair poke right now. Uh, Flourishing Hunter next turn. Bramble Worm after that. So that's going to feel pretty good. As long as we hit that land drop. Ooh. Oh, they're going to get to transform this? Oh, no. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> oh, toughness matters. What a great deck. Oh, I love it. All right. I'll keep the Vile Spawn Spider up. Uh... Target opponent, so that's fine. Gain some more life back. I see, I see. Death touch, that's why. Uh, double lock. Alright, it milled the land that I needed, but... We've got the monstrosity, and we've got a card in exile. Thanks for that. This is about to get really interesting. <laughs> Their catapult captain can just absolutely demolish me here. Ooh, and Paxon Pup is alright. Um, so... I may need all those little blockers all of a sudden. Hmm, 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 hmm. Are they playing fair magic? I think so. Alright, hear me out. Lantern Bearer goes on to Dreadlight Monstrosity. If Flourishing Hunter... What? 
I didn't even read that notification. Lantern bearers can come back. Okay. Um, maybe it's more important to get some blockers out right now. I mean, that's going to be awesome as unblockable. I would love for Bramble Worm to come down next turn. Haven't gotten there yet. Hold up the Cradle of Safety. That can just block with no percussions. Ta-ta for now, Rio. Have fun at work. Now I know why they went Toughness Matters. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> yes. I, I'm, I'm very pleased by their deck, though. You don't have blood tokens. What do you think you're doing? You have a catapult, Captain. That's what you think you're doing. Thing's gonna die anyways, you're gonna sacrifice it. So why'd you swing with two? Ours is not to question why. Yeah, this is about to get real bad for me. Ugh. So they're going to get to sacrifice another creature next turn. I need a blocker. Desperately need a blocker. I can't cast a blocker. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I think I'm just toast. Oof. I mean, I think they've got me. I think they've absolutely got me. Catapult Captain. My goodness, I want to see that. I want to see Catapult Father in one of my drafts. That's hilarious. I was playing um, Bant Butts at one point. Uh, just creatures with big toughness. In, um, in actual standard, real world standard. And then it just cha uh, changed to Azorius. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, we'll return that. Did they just let me pass? Really? Okay. Okay. We're in this. Bramble Worm. Thank goodness. I, I think they DC'd, though, and I feel, I feel kind of bad about that now. They don't seem like they DC'd. Oh, nice. Nice. Persistent specimen with that is pretty sweet. If you can keep putting bows on it. Keep exiling. Oh, man. Gross. I mean, at least I have the blockers I need right now, but... I need health. <laughs> I need health. I'm gonna die. Um, Alright. Thraven's just a more impressive blocker. Anybody got vigilance? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Fine. Hold up the cradle of safety. I mean, they can absolutely just end me right here. They can sacrifice this, sacrifice this, and then I'm toast. Uh, yeah. Real good game. Real nice. That's a really fun deck. I absolutely want to build this deck, too. Because Old Rustine goes with all of this. 
Yuck. So two games disconnected, followed by a loss. Not great. Not great at all. Unable to join event? Are you kidding me? Well, <laughs> guess Wizards had other plans for me today. Um, am I able to play anything else? Can't play sealed. I don't want to. I don't want to buy gems. Uh, well. <laughs> All right. Um, I guess. Yeah, yeah, Imperial, Lords of the Internet, why? So, I guess I did an hour-long stream of building a deck that I drafted clumsily, disconnecting from two games, one of which I could have definitely won, and then losing the game. <laughs> uh. <laughs> so, I guess... Um, I guess we'll try again later. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna stop the stream for now and uh, maybe we'll come back to it again later today. Gross. All right. Uh, Imperial, thanks for showing up. Really, just Rio, thanks for showing up. Rissa Lynn, thank you. Um, yeah, stay safe, be well. We'll try again later in the day. Bye.